Hi everyone, my name is Muhammad Aslam and in this video we will learn how to install and run its first program in Quick Emulator. The first part of the video demonstrate what is Petal Linux and BSP and it also describe the installation steps necessary for Petal Linux and in the second part of the video I will try to run the first program on Quick Emulator. Okay, let's go. So what is Petal Linux and BSP? The Petal Linux, which is based on a Yocta project, is a tool chain which offer everything necessary to customize, build, deploy embedded Linux solution on Xilinx processing systems. It further allow us to customize the bootloader, Linux kernel, or Linux application. It also allows us to add new kernels, device driver, application, libraries, and other software stacks on other Kuma Quick Emulator or on physical hardware via network or JTAG. We will see all these things in the coming videos. So what is BSP? Xilinx provide BSP, uh, which is a short term of board support packages for different evaluation boards. For example, in this video, we will be using Zboard and Xilinx provide its corresponding BSP. So that BSP is actually used by Petal Linux to configure the kernel as per the underlying hardware. For example, for the Zboard, the, the BSP used by the Petal Linux configure the kernel according to the hardware of Zboard. So what is BSP? BSP describes the hardware and various features supported by the hardware. For example, Zboard support different uh, hardware feature. For example, it supports different peripherals uh, like Ethernet, like uh, SPI, I2C, GPIOs, etc., etc. Okay, so. And uh, now we're gonna learn how to install Petal Linux. So here I describe all the steps necessary to install the Petal Linux. The very first step is to download the Petal Linux. I am using Petal Linux version 2017.4 and you can download from the given link. After uh, I'm, I suppose that you have already downloaded the Petal Linux. The next step is to change the execution mode uh, of uh, the Linux object files by using the command chmod plus x. Uh, for example, you uh, in my case, the downloaded folder for the Petal Linux is uh, home forward slash abc forward slash downloads forward slash the name of the uh, Petal Linux version. Before installing the Petal Linux, Petal Linux requires a number of standard development tools and libraries. And you can find all these libraries and tools in UG976 document. But for your convenience, I copied and pasted all these dependencies here. And before installing the Petal Linux, please make sure all these libraries and tools are installed already. The next step is uh, you have to select the location where you're gonna install the Petal Linux. So in my case, for example, the location is forward slash home abc forward slash Petal Linux. And I change the execution mode by using chmod command. And the next step is uh, you have to run this command as well because I observed some issue you have to change the execution mode of temp by using that command as well. After that, everything is ready. Uh, now you can run this command, which is you need to go to the download folder, which was in my case, that one and your case, you know better. And after going there, uh, run this command, Petal Linux uh, version dot run and the the location where you are planning to install the Petal Linux. After that, 
uh, you just need to follow the steps and agree with the things that popped out and hopefully you will not observe or see any issue in case uh, you see any error or any issue please copy and paste that error or issue in the comment box i will try to answer and we will try to figure out and fix that issue okay after installation the next step is uh, to source these uh, settings.sh of uh, petal linux for example in my case uh, the installation path is uh, source opt petal linux and setting.sh if i run this one and if you see these things it means everything is okay no need to worry about uh tftp we will we will see it later on but i also have observed that uh, a few of my friends have uh, observed that warning when they run this source uh, settings or sh command they see uh, a warning that uh, is, that uh, the shell uh, which is currently enabled is not bash so if you in case you observe that warning please uh, execute these commands after executing this command and rerun that command you will not see that warning at all if everything is okay run this command ECHO dollar beta Linux so it will gives you the complete directory of installation of beta linux uh, if you see these things it means everything is okay and uh, you have successfully installed the beta linux oh okay so the next step is uh, running first program of beta linux in quick emulator first program of beta linux in quick emulator xilinx provide quick emulator and we can use quick emulator to test or run our peta linux software images in a simulated environment without any hardware it's really a good thing because uh, it accelerates the development process we don't need to test every linux image on uh, hardware we can test and verify in a simulated environment and once we are sure then we can deploy that image on a hardware and the steps necessary to run the peta linux in quick emulators are following the very first step is to download the bsp for the zboot i have already downloaded it uh, I will show you here I have created two folders one is library if I go to the library folders and if I list down I have a BSP for the Z boot and if I go to the other folder that is project Z and again if I list down there is nothing in the in the Z folder the next step is to use a, to use a peta Linux create command and the format of the peta linux create command is uh, following peta linux minus t for type project minus s is for source of the bsp in my case the source of the bsp is this if i enter it will create the it will create the project for me and the name of this project is uh, Avnet Digiland Zboot 2016.2 and if I list down here you can see the, uh, this commands has created different folders for me the next step is to use the con peta linux config command if I enter it peta linux config command allow me to customize the linux image by uh, by using different settings but in our special case we will not touch that part i will just exit and it will take a while 
I will pause the video and will come back once it is finished. Okay, it is already finished. Now uh, the configuration is done. The next thing is to build uh, the Peta Linux, uh, the Linux image for uh, our for the quick emulator and the command used for that one is uh, Peta Linux build. If I run Peta Linux build, enter, it will also take a while but if you face any error or something that is not okay please write down that thing in the comment box i will try to answer and we will try to figure out why that error or uh, uh, unexpected things are happening on your side i will pause the video again because it's gonna take a while again and i will come back in a while okay now we have a complete linux customized solution for our z board we can either directly load that solution into z board or we can test it in quick emulator if i if i do ls here uh, the most important folder in our special case is images if I do again ls here, there are different files here. For example, first stage bootloader, the images that represent to Linux kernel image, and other files. Okay, let's run quick emulator. And the format for the quick emulator is following. So the command is petalinux boot space QEMU space dash dash kernel if I run this one it will boot the image into the quick emulator and it will behaves like it is running in a real hardware and by by doing this we can test uh, this kernel this solution and uh, now we are in login the username is root and password is again root now we are in a simulated environment so you can see that uh, now it's in we are in a z boot simulated environment you know it's it's like it's like running in a real hardware and you can do whatever you want for example if i run if config here I can see there are there is ETH zero and again if I can for example if I want to change the IP address s10.1 and ETH zero again if I if config it was uh, 10.0.2.15 now it should be changed now it is this one in the same way you can for example uh, make directories mkdir dummy ls and uh, cd dummy similarly you can create files dummy dot txt if you ls and it's real now it's working in that way you can test that your customized Linux solution is working or not before deploying into the real hardware. So that's all from the today. Uh, today's video. In the next video, we will uh, run the same stuff in a real hardware. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe and share my channel as sharing is caring.